Imagine we won a million dollars. Could you imagine? Could you imagine it? I can. Uh oh, we're flipping. And uh, for what? With what? With why? With what? Come on, dude. What is this? What do you want from me, chat? What am I supposed to do here, man? Hold it! Let's go! Here, chat, is the Spins Ultra Challenge, okay? We're gonna play every single Spin Ultra on the site, excluding the $10 ticket one. So all the ones you can buy into for cash. We're gonna see if we make a profit. So $0.25, cent, $1, $3, $5, $10, $20, $50, and then $100 to close. That's $189.25 in total buy-ins. How do we do? Can we get it done over these, what, seven, eight spins? That is the spin challenge. So let's uh, let's do it. And we're in. Okay, playing for 50 cents. That's okay, because this one is not that important. Yeah, it's not a, this one is not a big deal in relation to our ability to win this challenge. What do we do with our ranges in these pots? <laughs> we're 15 blinds deep, there's no antis, right? So I'm thinking about tournament opening ranges with antis, and then I'm thinking about cash game opening ranges without antis. And then I'm thinking about 15 blind opening ranges, right? And so all those three things are sort of playing in my mind. At 15 blinds, you don't actually get to raise as much on the button as you would at 100 blinds deep because you have more room to deal with three bets and you have a bigger advantage in position with more, more chips. But I think we probably get to open a little bit less than tournaments because there's no antis. So it's gonna be somewhere in between those two things, those two opening ranges I'm thinking about in my head. We'll see how it goes. Folding the 9-5 student. We're going to call with king seven. And I think we check and don't fold. Now this is kind of a scary flop, right? Now we don't shove pre-flop, so we don't have very many good hands, but our opponent also has a bunch of hands. So I think we're okay to play this here. I'm still gonna check. I'm trying to induce a bluff, right? I'm trying to induce a bluff. We lose the minimum against ace 10, let's go. We call the river bet of 60. They do have the ace, but I feel okay about it. My question is, it's winner take all. Do I call off here? I think so, yeah. I think we have to gamble with two blinds left. How about, we're beating 7-5, so the side pot is looking okay. Oh, we win it, let's go, dude. We're up to 190, we can totally win this thing. What a sick deuce on the river. What a sick deuce. I think we have to fold to the shove here. And ace is big, and ace is very big against king 10. This is très bien, but a bad flop. Désolé, we're dead, okay. First one is zero. Next up is the $1 spin ultra. What are we playing for? That's all right. If we're going to lose one, make it the 25 center. Playing for $3. Great. Groups folds. One eye rich. Limps. I think we check. If we're going to raise bluff, which we actually have to do a lot when the small blind uh, limps, like quite a bit, suited hand is not the right choice. Some bet, some check here. Let's bet. It's a $1 tournament. I'm just going to assume that my opponent doesn't continue enough the time, and I'm going to bet. Ace on the turn. I give up. I give up on the bluff. I'm done. It works against some hands, and we beat 8-7 here with 9 kickers. Pretty amazing. Um, but I just assume it doesn't work enough on the turn of the river. So I'm out. Limp. Folding. Uh, fold the jack-5. It's it's one of the only expressions I know for the golf course is say ball. <laughs> when people hit good shots. I played with an older couple, and I asked them, uh, you know, what do you say when someone says good shot? And they said say ball. Basically, it's good, you know? And so... When, when people hit shots now and they're French speaking, I'll be like, uh, c'est bon, nice shot. Or c'est très bon. <laughs> We're all over these four. I'm living in Montreal, if you guys didn't know, so French language is primary here. I can get around with English, but the effort is usually appreciated. How about we hold it with ace four? No 10, no seven, no queen. We got it. Let's go. Roops. Roops. The roops is on fire. That's a really... I mean, I don't know wh where that came from in the dome, but it did. It did. That's the truth. Keep it clean. Let's go. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Chat, $3 cash. Imagine we won a million dollars. Could you imagine? Could you imagine it? I can. It'd be all right. I'd be okay with it. Six bucks. Uh, okay. Sorry. Just texting the one and only Arlie Shaban. Can you believe that? Arlie Shaban. What a legend. Do we limp or raise this? I think we limp call. Unless they like jam or something, we wouldn't call, but. Ace five, deuce in the flop. Some checks and bet. I kind of like checking king nine though. You know, it's like we have showdown value with our king high um, on this board. We have better hands to bluff like our queen highs and our jack highs and our 10 highs. Uh, we turn a nine, they pot it, we call. River's a three. And uh, ugh, we're not super happy here. They bet 80. Do they have quite a 
few bluffs that they can bluff. They definitely have some. They have some spades uh, for sure. They hit the 4x sometimes, but not that often. Uh, I'm going to fold. Can you play on party poker for real money in the US in some states? In New Jersey, please hold this. No, we've lost. Queen 10 lost to the Jack 8. Ripcity.gov. But you know what's up now? It's the $5 spin. Went up to a milli. It's not a million chat. We're playing for 15 bucks. That's okay. Uh, checking. King 8. How do I win this pot? I probably don't. Maybe I do. Have 8 7. Check, 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 check. In the bed river. What? With what? With why? With what? It's going to be a knit. Close here. I guess a limp. Limp fold. It's going to be the worst 9 we limp if we do limp, right? Like I think 9 7 we limp for sure. 9 6, we're not sure what we do. Good flop. King 6 4, flop a 6, but you start with check. Vigard. What's up, Vigard? How are you? I think they have a better hand or bluffs, so we might as well check and then decide what to do. Do we want to call the river? Probably not, right? Probably not. Tens. This is what we needed. This is what we needed. Someone, I mean, come on, double me up. Thank you. Uh-oh, we're flipping. We are flipping here. We're, it's going well. Let's go. Do we jam 10-7? Offsuit? Probably not. Blinds are 30-60. It seems close, the 10-7 offsuit there, right? It's not a good hand, but you jam a lot. Like 10-9 is auto, like obviously, I think, in there. And then where it is from there, I'm not sure. 7-10 suited, they limp. Oh, sweet. Free flop, that's cool. Yeah, I guess check fold. Ooh, now we just bet, though. Now we just bet. We got the open ender. 10 high, we're bluffing. Let's go. Here we go. This is nice to take the lead here. If we play this pot, which we will. Ace nine is a great hand for the lead, for the dreams, for $15, not yet. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We've got to win this pot first. Ace nine, ace four. Ooh, that's a four. Ooh, hearts, eight, hearts, nine? No, dude. So many outs on the river, but that is it. Our only caches so far are for three bucks, dude. But now we get into some bigger ones here. So $10, we're gonna skip the ticket one. $20, $50, and $100. So here we go. 20 bucks, okay. So I think we're definitely gonna jam king four offsuit. I'm just wondering if the suited low kings will be limp folds because they're more playable post flop, but I'm just gonna go for the jam. I might be opening up holes in my game by jamming all of these low kings suited and offsuit. It's gonna make chips no matter what, so that's okay. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, with the king nine suited, it's probably on the edge. I don't know, I'll fold. If we fold, I think it's probably the best hand we fold. It also depends on what we think they're shoving. I don't really know what the $10 ultra pool is like here, you know? That's a good flop. That's a good turn. Two pair over two pair, tough one. I'm all in. Sometimes I wish you would finish that sentence with your far too kind. <laughs> I say this sometimes. Come on, dude, what is this? We can't win it all in chat. I don't know what the deal is. Listen, we got it in good. It is what it is, man. All right, next up, $20 spin ultra. And so far we have three dollars in caches, and this is our fifth, sixth spin ultra. Playing for forty bucks. This is our sixth one. We've only won one, so not a great record. We've we've gotten it in pretty good. I think we've just been getting unlucky. It's all right. Queen ten against a check. Queen ten prints it with the ten on the river. We're heads up, just like that. Uh, limp actually. Limp call. King ten suited. Okay, against Jack Deuce suited. We like it for five hundred chips. This is the lead, no? Another lost flip, dude. What do you want from me, chat? What am I supposed to do here, man? What am I supposed to do? $50 spin ultra going in. This is probably the one that runs the least, I would guess. But it's right away. Some unlucky all-in luck. We're playing for 100 bucks here. This would be big, though. This would be a big cash. And we just played Alfredo, who shoves on the button. We have ace-5. I mean, we call, right? We call. <laughs> okay. Good luck, dude. Good luck, chat. Flips! a set yeah so sick okay <laughs> all right okay the hundred dollar can bail us out of our disastrous streak hundred dollar spin ultra here we go how much are we playing for make it a milli oh i thought it was 24k for a second i was like damn we're really doing this all right 200 bucks 200 dollars is what we're playing for magics and carlito 
Three-handed for all the marbles. And we're in the lead. We're tied again. We're in second place. Second place isn't worth anything. We need to win it, chat. That's all. We need to win it. It's our only option here if we want to be successful in this challenge. Beautiful hand. Here we go. Ace, nine, king, six. We need to hold a hand, dude. That's a great start. Come on, dude. Yes. Yes. Yes, chat. Big lead. Let's go. Limp. I think ace, 10 offsuit is good enough to limp here. King, king, five. Check, check. Check, check again. Don't bet here. It's really uncomfortable if they bet here. Okay. Show down. Beat eight, seven. That's cool. They now see that I've limped ace, 10 offsuit. So it's going to be something they can take note of. Limp. I think six, seven is good enough, but not a hand we want to jam. But it is connected, right? What I don't want to do is bet and get jammed on here. So I'm going to check back. I do intend to like put in some aggression with this hand, obviously. Uh, they bet 53. I think we call. Don't think it's a strong enough hand to want to raise in this situation. We have a lot of outs. There's six, seven. So we call. And then river comes a four. I think we jam. I think the overbet is a good uh, sizing here. Let's go. Blinds are up to 3060. Brass tax, dude. Brass tax. We are no longer in the lead. Oh, so card dead, dude. Come on. We get a walk with 3 4. That's nice. That is nice. Jam, I think. Okay, we're in the lead again. Bold. Another walk. Let's go. Let's go. Lines are up 40 80. Oh, we pick up an ace, dude. Ace 3, Jack 9. Chat. Hold it, dude. Hold it! Let's go! Let's go, baby. Let's go, chat. It was tumultuous, but it is a $203 in cashes. It is a whoo, $13.75 profit, baby. $13.75 divided by eight games. We're making $1.70 a game, chat. Projected into the future, we're going to be billionaires by the end of the week.